Hey guys, I'm Alicia. I live in my truck camper. Today I want to talk about why you might want to consider getting an e-bike for your RV setup or your truck camper setup. Let me get into it. Here's the sunshine. The main reason I got an e-bike over a dirt bike or a scooter was weight. This thing is 80 pounds with the battery in and it is a lot easier to handle by yourself as a woman than a 200 pound scooter. See, you can pick it up. I carry mine on a dirt bike rack because it is a little bit heavier than to be able to put on a Thule. This e-bike has fat tires. You can ride around on dirt roads. It's really nice. I have put some accessory pedals on this thing. If you keep this thing under 20 miles per hour, it'll go up to 55 miles. It's really great for going in and out of town easily. Let's go. I cannot stop smiling when I'm on this thing. Woo! <laughs> I promise I usually wear a helmet. So you've got a little screen that tells you your speed and your power. Right here is when I switch, I've got front wheel drive, all wheel drive, rear wheel drive. When I'm riding, I kind of switch it up. I go from front wheel drive to rear wheel drive to all wheel drive and then just see what feels the best. This thing is low maintenance, but it just goes so fast. If you turn off the restriction setting, which I would never do, it'll go up to 35 miles per hour. But I will say that at 35 miles per hour, you're not gonna get that 55 range. You can park this thing anywhere that you can lock it up. Woo! If you want to go with the Aerial Rider company, I would say that the only con is that their customer service takes a little bit while. Like I've had to email them a couple times reminding them of what I need. I think they're just a small company and trying to do everything and they're like growing so fast. I will say that their customer service, they do care about their customers, but they're just trying to get all the kinks out of being a young new company, which I'll, I'll say that all it's worth it. I would, they're not a sketch company. They're just growing, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's fine. My bike has a one year warranty as well. I did the six month financing option and there's no interest if I pay it off each month. My recommendation is if you can afford it, do it. And if you don't like it, if you think that you're not getting enough mobility, sell it and move on to a dirt bike or a scooter. This thing is really amazing though because you don't have to register it it's also super fun I can also turn off the pedal assist and get some exercise and use this as a regular bike it's just a little bit heavy it's I usually keep it on one which is the lowest setting it's under 20 miles per hour This thing's easier to park in town than my big truck. If I had gotten like a little scooter, I don't know if it could have gone off-road. I would have had to get a street legal dirt bike, which that's also fun too. Oh, I'm <laughs> having so much fun. If you can afford it, do it. And if you don't like it, if you think that you're not getting enough mobility, sell it and move on to a dirt bike or a scooter. This thing is really amazing though because you don't have to register it. I can also turn off the pedal assist and get some exercise and use this as a regular bike. I usually keep it on one, which is the lowest setting. It's under 20 miles per hour. Put it in there, lock it. And then I always double check. I've got a small kryptonite lock that stays on the bike and I use it when I go into town. I've got a big kryptonite lock that I lock the bike to my campsite each night. You've learned something about my e-bike. I hope I wasn't all over the place. Yeah. Oh, I gotta 
get a helmet. Woo! Check out that bike, that's cool. Brand pedal, huh? 